All right, YouTube, this Detroit's HPTV coming to you out of Detroit. I want to uh, do a reaction to this video on Christian Keys. Now, Christian Keys is coming out on some type of abuse he suffered in Hollywood. He even makes reference to Cassie in a situation with Diddy. The problem that I have with what he's saying is he's not naming names. He's leaving it open for speculation. And this is a grown man. So never am I victim shaming, but I want you to check this out. This is for fair usage, educational purposes of the 1976 Copyright Act. Check this out. It's your girl, Brooke Bryant, going live with the Bree Talk and Bay Squad. Kiss your keys and shook up the internet. But before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my favorite vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Um, good evening. Hope everybody's doing amazing. Um, I am... I've been speaking to my brother about making a declaration of my experience. Um, what I experienced with certain powers that be that were moving inappropriately. And I really, like it's in my bone marrow to discuss that because thankfully God built me the way that he built me but I, I'm not sure you know based on this person's claims and, and brags um, that he's literally got at the same time this person was sexually, sexually harassing me for years He was claiming, you know, that he had multiple young black men on the payroll and they just had to show up when he was, when he requested them to be there. Now, I'm going to stop right there. He said that some guy was harassing him for years, hitting on him for years while he was still in Hollywood auditioning and being in parts and being in movies. Okay, cool. Now, we knew it wasn't going to be long before, you know, men who were subject to those same type of abuses in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you can call them males, but you couldn't call them men. You know what I mean? Because men would respond different. But I want you to listen, listen to his story. discussions. I want to be transparent with y'all about that. I've done my best to forgive this person, but it happens. It happens. Um, it's not just women that have to deal with it, but it's also men sometimes. And it'll be men tempting men. And that's why a lot of my posts over the last few years have been about taking the scenic route you know, taking a long way around because if that means that you can carry your integrity with you, then, and it's 11-11. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for another opportunity to connect with you. Um, please forgive my sins, my shortcomings, my bad decisions, and my mistakes. Um, please continue to guide and protect us as only you can. Everybody that's watching, um, it's not a presentation if I see 11-11 I 
try to have another conversation with God. So thank you, Heavenly Father. I appreciate you. We love you. We thank you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. Um, that's interesting. But there are, there are um, people that will and have and will continue to, unfortunately, offer these things and some of them are your heroes some of them are people who y'all like oh yeah such and such is amazing and he does this and he does that yeah but he also does this and that I uh at some point soon, it's going to have to come out. <clears throat> I've kept one of these on me since 05. Um, whether it's a keychain recorder or a pen, because most predators would check your phone. And once the sexual harassment started, I was like, well, I need to, I, I got to protect me because I'm saying no, and I don't want this person. First of all, you a grown man. You a grown man. And you saying you being harassed. And what you come up with is I'm going to record it, but I'm going to keep trying to get interviews. And I'm going to keep going around these people, but I'm just going to be recording to protect me. To protect you, all you got to do is don't go around them. And the fact that you refuse to name a name and tell us who you're talking about and leaving it open for speculation, to me, is cowardice. Because we want to know exactly who it is that did it to you. Now, you know, you applaud Cassie. But Cassie named names. You know what I mean? And here you are. You saying you are a man, but yet... You refuse to even name the name, so you really doing like Keefe D did. They got himself caught up with, with Diddy. You allege it's almost like you threatening. It's almost like you threatening, or you might be trying to extort. Because why are you not naming the name? as they are to try to get in the way of my work so I started recording so I have them offering me money to take my clothes off I have recordings when I wasn't working with them or for them um, I have recordings of them confessing that you know the other guys that they have on the payroll, all of the above. Um, and the difference is, the wonderful thing about confidentiality agreements and non-disclosure agreements is that they can't prevent you from turning all of those things over to the police because sexual harassment is a crime, attempted sexual assault is a felony. just asked why do we as black people have to deal with that but sometimes it's our own people sometimes it's our own heroes it's the, sometimes it's the very people we deify and we look up like oh they're doing so much they're doing so much no they're also doing this and my only reservation about naming the people you know, there was directors along the way like, hey, you know, you read for this, that, and the other. You want to come back up to the apartment? I'm like, nah, I'm good. You got my headshot, my resume, and I'm good. You know if I can handle it or not. This comes off to me very disingenuous as a man. 
as a man, how many times do you have to hit on me or cut into me before it would be a problem? And if I'm going to say what you did, I'm going to say your name. It's not going to be speculation. You know, they're trying to say it was Tyler Perry, but we don't know because he won't tell us who it is. And he's trying to come off like he's going to be some hero and some advocate for me. And I think this is very weak and very cowardice. It looks like a money grab. I'm not saying that somebody didn't hit on him, but he stayed around for it. You know I can kill that, but I'm not, I don't need to come up to your apartment. We already had the audition. There's other people that... I want to say everything, and my brother was like, no, nah, not yet. So your brother's a coward too. So you and your brother, two grown men, and y'all coming out with this allegation, and everybody know, I've been looking at what's, what's been being posted so far, and everybody is kind of assuming it's Tyler Perry. But you haven't said who it is, and you're trying to act as if you're doing something honorable. You know what I mean? I don't see no honor in it. It seems like an allegation. It seems like a threat. It seems like you might be trying to get something out of somebody or you're going to expose them. That's what it looked like to me. I want to tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Now he's trying to blame it on the Hennessy, and he said that another man said, oh, you can sleep on my couch. It's safe. This is a weird commentary. Listen to him. This is weird. first this entire life was an hour long and i listened to it all because you know that's what that's my job and it reminds me of that boondocks episode aaron magruder put together about tyler perry baby i knew back then i believed it from the cartoon because aaron magruder ain't putting out um nothing but snapple facts i'm gonna say again this guy never mentioned tyler perry he never said Tyler Perry's name. He's not named names. He said he's been hit on by multiple men. He said they grabbed him in the biscuits, trying to climb in the bed with him. But he still kept going for auditions. His thing was, I'm going to record it so I can have a record. So that if I don't get a certain part, I could say it was harassment. I'm not feeling the interview. Okay. And I feel like 
this, Christian Keys, my heart goes out to you, especially you being a male victim because he is aesthetically pleasing. He's attractive. I can only imagine. And it's giving he had to participate in the freak-offs because... He has not gone to the police yet. So is this a Cassie shakedown to get your money? Because, baby, sucking dick is a lot. It's a lot. And you deserve every coin. And he's still over there working with the Tyler Perry Productions. So I, I'm just saying, I'm calling a spade a spade. Listen, we don't victim blame. We just highlight the truth. But on that note, what are your thoughts on this space squad? Do you believe it's Tyler Perry? Do you think it's Lee Daniels? Child, comment down below. I got to go. Bye, hoes. Now, even with her, he never said any name, but yet she keeps saying Tyler Perry. You know what I mean? Now, this is this is this this is real strange for a man to be saying these things and then say, "Well, I'm not gonna say who it was." What he waiting on another interview? He waiting to tell Oprah what is, what is really going on here? You know what I'm saying? And my heart doesn't go out to him because he a man and he kept going back. He kept going back and spending the night and saying this is it safe to sleep on a couch? And you know what I mean? If you a man and you believe this guy, put up one in the in the comments, please, because it seems to me that this guy is weird. He's really weird. You know what I mean? For him to come out now. You know what I mean? You ain't seen him in no movies lately or whatever. But he's coming with these allegations, but he won't name a name. He's leaving it to speculate. He leaving, he leaving people to indict Tyler Perry in public opinion. Now, I'm not no Tyler Perry fan. You know what I mean? But it's something, it's something, it's something shaky. It's something weird about this guy and what he's coming out with. You know what I mean? And that, and his timing, you know, and I won't be surprised if you see him doing a lawsuit and because in, in, in the longer video, he says he's going to turn over his recordings, you know, to the police, you know what I mean? Which will, uh, the police going to tell him, oh, we can't do nothing because the criminal Statue limitations don't ran out, but what you can do is you can make your police report and then you can file a civil action. And then once you file a police report and then you go with the civil action, then in the court of public opinion, in the civil suit, they're going to say, oh, he did go to the police, but the statute of limitations has ran out. So we want to give this man justice and we want to punish the offender alleged offender based on the allegation and based on a police report not based on any facts or anything else this is one of those things where oh I'm going to name you and I'm going to serve you these papers you're going to see the allegations in the papers and in this atmosphere you're going to settle that's what I think so I don't know you guys tell me in the comments. Signing out of Detroit. Keep your head on the swivel. Like and share the video.